Hello, this video will look at uh, some aspects of reflection using autograph. Um, here's a Red Admiral butterfly and some points around the edge and a line. Um, so let's see where this all comes from by starting from scratch with a blank file. First of all, we need to go and find the image. And uh, on the TSM resources site, if you go to useful files, this is where all the Excel stuff is kept, but also where the images are kept. And if you download this zip file, uh, what you get uh, when you extract it to a single directory is uh, all these files here. So we're looking at reflection, but you can see there are also files on polygons, parabolic, circular, and arches, and so on. So the reflection and Red Admiral, and there are two files here. One is the actual file we've just been looking at, which is a finished autograph file, and the other is um, an actual file. So I'm just going to bring back autograph again. And if we just drag this file on, we should be able to see it OK. Uh, we're in the standard level. And so, for example, the snap grid is uh, in ones. For what that means is if I'm putting points on, they snap to whole number integers which isn't really what I want if I want to put a detailed set of points around this wing. Even point 0.1 probably isn't going to be, give enough detail. So I'm going to use the axes snap settings. And I'm going to change them to custom of 0 0.01 and custom 0 0.01. That will give me enough flexibility, I think, to do this. Uh, then I want to put the axes down the center of it. So I'm just going to double click on this and give it a bit of transparency so I can see the axis through there. That's good. And just move it to the right slightly. Right, we're all set. OK, so now I'm going to put the points on. I'll just take these two off. Press delete. And I should have enough flexibility with my uh, snapping now to put fairly accurate points all the way around here. If you want to, of course, you can zoom in. If you want a slightly closer view, and then zoom out again. Let's move it down to the middle. OK, then I want to right click, select all the points, and there they all are. And I want to make this into a single object, ideally into a, a data set. And there they are. So now that when if I click, they all wake up. If I double click, I get all the points that I've just created. There they are. And I want to join them up, and I do not want to perform an auto scale, otherwise, it'll just mess up all the scales. I'll show you what happens. If I press OK now, it rescales, and it's not what I wanted to do at all. So undo that, double click, don't tick on that, and join the points. And uh, here we have them. Right, now um, I've done it so that the y-axis is the axis of symmetry, but of course I could, if you like, draw a line, enter an equation, x equals 0, and the draw options, let's make it dotted, and a bit thicker than that, and there is our axis. So if I select the axis and select the data set, and I can right-click, I can do a reflection, and see if uh, Mother Nature has indeed produced a perfectly symmetrical animal. Uh, not bad. There's another way of doing this, though, uh, which I think might be interesting, is to consider, say, this point here, and its opposite number over here. Now, they both have the same y, but their x's are minus one another. There's another way of looking at this, is to double-click on this, and to use the scaling option. I want to change all these x's to minus what they are, so I'm going to, instead of that dummy formula there, I'm going to put in minus x. And if I press this button scale, all these numbers will go negative. Ready, steady, there we are. So now what's going to happen, if I press OK, is that these red ones are going to pop over here because they're minus what they were, and the purple ones are going to pop over here because they're a reflection of those. Ready, steady, there it goes. So you've really got two ways of looking at reflection. One is a mathematical reflection, and the other is a geometrical reflection. Going back to the uh, files here, uh, there's that finished file there. But if we go back to reflection, there's the sycamore leaf as well, uh, which is quite a nice example of reflection. And 
again you've got a file to show that and then finally the red arrows we can start off with a new file and just drop that in there and the example here is quite nicely shown where what I've done here is joined up the tails and put vectors representing the aeroplane and you can see that this one was slightly out although how on earth they get that close to each other uh, is a complete mystery. Okay so there's a quick look at reflection using Portugal.